Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these yellow and green semicircles inscribed in a big semicircle, as you can see in this diagram, such that O, Q, and P are the centers of these semicircles. And moreover, the diameter A, B of this big semicircle is 4 units and furthermore these diameters CD and EF are the chords to this big semicircle and now we are going to calculate the area of this yellow semicircle and this green semicircle as well please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, centers O, Q, and uh, P. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram, I have connected all these uh, centers. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, all these angles are going to be 90 degrees because this uh, red line represents the radius and uh, these are our tangent lines and furthermore let's recall this perpendicular bisector theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius uh, bisects uh, the chord so therefore uh, this line segment uh, equal to this line segment uh, and this line segment is equal to this line segment likewise this line segment equal to this uh, line segment and furthermore uh, the centers o q and uh, p lie on the very same line and here's our next step let's go ahead and make an observation we know that this a b is the diameter of this uh, bigger semicircle and that is uh, 4 units so therefore this uh, radius uh, a o and this uh, radius uh, o b are going to be 2 units each and now let's go ahead and connect uh, these points o and uh, d as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and as a result we get this uh, right triangle uh, o d q now we can see that this uh, side length uh, OD represents the radius of this uh, big uh, semicircle. So this is going to be simply two units. And now we can see that this uh, OQ and QD represent the radii of this uh, yellow semicircle. Let me go ahead and label this one as a lowercase r. And this is going to be lowercase r as well and now we can see that this is our right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and represent this longest leg as our side c i'm going to call this side a and this side b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula so a in our case is r so it's going to be r square b is r as well r square equal to c in our case is 2 so this is going to become a 2 square let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 so therefore our r square value turns out to be 2 and now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root on uh, both sides so r value turns out to be simply square root of uh, 2 so therefore this uh, radius r turns out to be square root of uh, two units and here our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, these points o and this point f as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram i have connected these points uh, o and f and now let's focus on this uh, green semicircle we can see that this uh, pq and this uh, pf uh, they are the radii of this green semicircle. Let me label this radius of this green semicircle as lowercase t. Then this radius is going to be lowercase t as well. Now we can see that we have got this right triangle OPF. And we can see that this side length OF 
is the radius of this uh, big uh, semicircle so this is going to be two units and moreover this whole uh, side length uh, op is going to be the sum of uh, square root of two plus uh, this lowercase t so i can write this thing as uh, t plus uh, square root of uh, two now we can see that this is our right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as side c i'm going to call this side uh, a and this side uh, lowercase b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is a t b in our case is a t plus uh, square root of 2 and c is uh, 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so this is going to become uh, t square plus this is going to be t plus uh, square root of 2 whole square equal to 2 square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial part so therefore we are going to have uh, t square for this one and this is going to give us uh, t square plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 times t plus uh, square of uh, square root of 2 equal to 2 square is going to give us uh, 4. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore when we combine these like terms we're going to get uh, 2t square plus uh, 2 times the square root of 2 times t and this is going to give us simply 2 equals to 4. Now let's go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. This is gone. So we simply ended up with the 2t square plus 2 times the square root of 2 times t equals to 2. And now we can see each and every term is divisible by 2. Let me go ahead and divide across the board by 2 so therefore we are ended up with the t square plus uh, square root of 2 times uh, t equals to 1 let's move 1 on the left hand side so we are ended up with the t square plus square root of 2 times t minus uh, 1 equal to 0 and now we can see that we have got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve by using the quadratic uh, formula and here's our well-known quadratic formula that we will be using and here in our case uh, our a is uh, 1 b is uh, square root of uh, 2 and c is uh, negative 1 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula so t equals to b in our case is square root of 2 so this is going to become negative uh, square root of 2 plus or minus the square root of uh, square root of 2 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 1 all over 2 times a is 1 and now if we simplify everything we are ended up with this one now let's go ahead and split these signs positive and negative and here we are ended up with the two values of t and here we can see that this represents a negative value of this uh, t and we can see that this t is the radius of this uh, green semicircle so therefore t cannot be negative so we are going to reject this negative value and we are going to accept the positive value of t so thus our t value turns out to be square root of uh, 6 minus uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square in our case the radius uh, for this uh, yellow semicircle is uh, square root of 2 so therefore the area of this uh, yellow semicircle is going to be a equal to pi times uh, square root of 2 whole square and we are going to divide by 2 since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle. So if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 2 pi divided by 2 and that is equal to pi. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle turns out to be 
pi square units and that is approximately equal to 3.142 square units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded semicircle now and now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again pi r square in our case the radius for this uh, green semicircle is uh, square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 2 so therefore the area is going to be equal to pi times the radius is square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 2 whole square and then we are going to divide it by 2 since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore we got pi over 2 and this uh, could be written as square root of 6 minus square root of 2 whole square divided by 4 and here we can multiply these uh, denominators so we are ended up with the uh, pi divided by 8 uh, times uh, square root of 6 minus uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply on this part so therefore we can write this thing as uh, pi divided by 8 uh, outside and this is simply is going to become uh, square root of 6 uh, whole uh, square minus uh, 2 times square root of uh, 6 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and then uh, plus uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square and here we have simplified this thing a uh, square of square root uh, turns out to be this one 6 likewise uh, this turns out to be 2 and here when we multiply these one we got square root of 12 and now let's focus on this uh, square root of 12 and here I have copied it down and if we simplify this thing this turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 3 so thus our next step turns out to be pi divided by 8 over here when we combine 6 plus 2 it gives us uh, 8 and here square root of 12 I replace it uh, by 2 times square root of 3 as we simplified over here and here in this uh, next step I have factored out uh, 4 outside and here if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, pi times uh, 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 2 and that is the area of this uh, green uh, semicircle so thus the area of this uh, green uh, semicircle turns out to be pi times uh, 2 minus uh, square root of 3 all over 2 square units that is approximately equal to 0 0.421 square units and here are our both uh, answers thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye